Hey, this is Chris Menard. Uh, joining me today is Christian from the UK. Christian handles my website. You can also thank Christian for putting up all the 25 videos for virtual backgrounds. He has one running right now that he's working on for me. So we're going to discuss in this video three features to secure your Zoom meeting while you're in the meeting. I'll make another video later on how to secure it prior to scheduling the meeting, but I know a lot of you have probably have already scheduled meetings. And so let's get started. We've got Zoom running. Option number one, and this is the big one. This is happening a lot. We call these Zoom bombers. So right now, I've got my controls at the bottom, and I'm the host. Christian's a participant, but let's say I've got a bunch of other people in here, and Christian's going to be the bad guy right now. So if you notice, Christian, feel free, Christian, go ahead and share your screen. So let's say I don't even know who Christian is. So Christian starts sharing his screen right now. Let me resize that real quick. Perfect. Let's say that what he's sharing, though, is not appropriate, if you know what I'm saying. It's a video of something no one else needs to be seeing in a Zoom meeting because this has happened already. So Christian, if you would, do a stop share. So feature number one, as the host, down here where it says share screen, I'm going to go to advanced sharing options. So this is tip number one, and I'm going to say who can share only host. So I'm going to... Close this. Christian, can you try and share? Okay, I'm seeing a message now that says host disabled participant screen sharing. I can't share. So I just eliminated uh, someone sharing inappropriate content. So if I need him to share, I'd go back to advanced sharing options. This is an extra tip. I'm going to go to host only still. But I'm going to pull up the participant panel. I know I need Christian to share. I know who he is. So I'm going to go make him the host. So Christian, now you're the host. So try to share if you would. Yep. Perfect. Right. Yep. Very good. So now... I'm going to try to share because now I made Christian the host and you can see this message hopefully that I'm getting same one Christian got host disabled participant screen sharing so that feature is working also since this is my meeting and I'm the host even though I gave controls to Christian I can come up here and I can take over the host controls again participant panel more reclaim host So now I'm the host and I'm going to stop Christian's video. Only one person can share. I went to the participant panel, made someone else the host that I trust, and then I allowed them to share. Uh, another feature. So we've eliminated sharing. Let's talk about the chat box. As the host, and as the default right up here in the top, I pulled up the chat box. Again, there's everyone. I don't want Christian, he's the bad person again, putting in some comments that are insensitive. So participants can chat with, instead of everyone, which is, I believe, the default, I can either make it no one or they can only chat with me. So Christian, if you would try and Tell me what your options are when you try to chat. Uh, well, I see the Zoom group chat here, and it just says I can send a, me a message to Chris Menard privately. So it shows me that I cannot actually send uh, a message to anyone else but you at this point. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. So now let me change it again. Now tell me what you have, because I just made it everyone. Now I can actually see um, a drop down so I can actually select between you and everyone. So I can send a message to everyone now 
uh, file. So I sent the yep. message now, and it, it should go to everyone. That's what it shows here. Excellent. I appreciate that. So there's limiting who can chat and what they can say. So we did the video sharing. We did chat. The third one, this is actually one of my absolute favorites, and this is probably one of the ultimate ways to secure your meeting. Once everyone is in the meeting that you know should be in the meeting, you can come to the participant panel. I'm going to go to more again. If you notice up in the top left, there's my meet, Zoom meeting ID. So if someone else had that ID number right now, they could pop in here, but I've eliminated them from sharing and I eliminated them from check, chatting, but I just want to keep people out. I'm going to go to more and I'm going to lock the meeting. This is a host control. I'm going to click yes. Up in the top, it says meeting locked. We've tested this. If you have that meeting ID and type it in, you can't get into the meeting. If you have an email with the meeting scheduled and click it, you cannot get into the meeting. So that is three tips for securing a Zoom meeting. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down in my YouTube comments box. Christian, you got anything to add? Yeah, I thought it was it would be a good idea if Zoom implemented this option to actually, if you invite various people, like let's say you invite five people, mm -hmm. the moment they all join to lock the meeting, as soon as they all join, to lock the meeting automatically so you know no one else, uh, you know, if you forget to lock it or something, that would be a nice option to add, wouldn't it? Yeah, I do like that, yeah. Uh, we'll be back. Today is Friday, April 3rd. We're going to come back into another video concerning adding a password when you're scheduling the meeting. It works and it sounds like a great feature, but we're going to show you one flaw that we that we feel that it has and how to get around it. But you can't put a password on a meeting. Yeah. Hey, why don't, you, why don't you share real quick the Zoom Center and tell them what you've been doing with the videos real quick, the 25 videos. All right. Okay, so so this is Chris's website, and at the top here you'll find the Zoom uh, section here, which leads you to the Zoom Resource Center. And now this is a work in progress because we're we're going to keep adding some resources here as as Chris is making uh, new articles, new videos, and um, these are all on the YouTube channel. And also there's these free backgrounds here, which I'm going to upload a few new ones today. Um, to you know you can download these i've made actually some optimizations to them to make them smaller and so they download faster for you and actually you don't really need them to be such high resolution because on a zoom screen they're kind of small anyway so there's no point working your computer to death just to resample those so they're going to be smaller faster uh, to use and also we will have some new ones up here and I believe a section we're preparing now is going to be a bunch of files such as cheat sheets with keyboard uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts for Zoom for the PC and the Mac, and possibly maybe if you if you if you're planning to do some more files there that we could share for free as well. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you're thinking of something else, but anyway, tips and tricks maybe I don't know. So you can print them out, have them have them beside your um, computer there and refer to them if you need so that's kind of it the, the resource center here um yeah I, I think that covered kind of everything we have on it yep thank you all right i will uh talk to you a little bit later today let me close this and i'll chat you back up is that all right yeah i appreciate it have a good one yeah okay bye right. bye bye